Hi everybody, uh, it's Andrew here for Tutorial Soup, um, making games with the HTML5 canvas. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create objects. This is going to, um, this is concluding on from our uh, rest of our tutorials. Um, this is it's going to start getting more interesting um, because we're going to we're getting closer to making animations and. Um, event listeners and things like that which is a lot more exciting than just putting the shapes on screen right um, let's go first of all I'm gonna create an object now to create an object um, first declare a variable so I'm gonna call this player and this is gonna indicate um, this is gonna basically indicate um, an object for a player so equals function parentheses opening tag I'm going to put the closing tag in straight away um, now this object uh, much like um, a function is going to um, or well technically it is a function um, is going to take some arguments and those arguments are going to be x y coordinates width and height uh, so, so basically, we're going to give give our every time we create our object, we're going to um, give it these four arguments. So we're going to give it an x coordinate, a y coordinate, a width, and a height. And so this x equals x, this y equals y. There we go. Oops. So there we have it. Um, that that is basically a constructor which um, helps um, create an object every time we call it. So now now we've created the object. I'm going to create an instance of it. So I'm going to call this player one. So this variable is going to be contain an instant of the player object. Um, oops. So that is actually how easy it is to um, create um, an object. So, so in order to make use of this object, I'm just going to save it quickly. We're going to call the uh, context. And we're going to fill a rectangle. Now, what I'm going to do is actually one thing I haven't done. When I create a new object, what I want to do is I want to I want to activate or give a value for each of the arguments here. So I'm going to put the x y coordinate at 30. Uh, and 40 across, these are just random uh, numbers. Um, I'm going to put a width in of 60 and a height of 60. So, what I've done there is I've created an object with um, an x value of 30, so an x, x coordinate value of 30, a y coordinate of 40, a width of 60, and a height of 60. Now, in doing this and creating the object, I've created an object with all the properties within the function here. So if I now create a, a rectangle and instead of putting the actual numbers in, I'm going to put player one, which is our instance of this object, dot x, which is the property here, and dot y which is the y and so on dot width and player one dot height so now if I save this you'll see much like in our last tutorials uh, but a little bit more complicated um, it's created a rectangle on the screen and 
this is a lot more efficient way of um, kind of doing things when it comes to games. You can create lots of different kind of objects for each player. I mean, you could have you could have an object for um, the user. You could have an object for the enemy, say, in the game. You could have an object um, for like you can have an object for say a tree that's um, within the game somewhere. You, it, it's pretty essential to create objects because you're going to be using them a lot later down the line. So one other thing I want to show you quickly. Uh, which we'll use um, quite a lot making uh, when we're making games. It's called transform. If I can spell it right. Now I won't go into the detail too much at the moment, but essentially what the the transform uh, method is, it's um, it uses what's called the transformation matrix. So essentially, the transform matrix. Um, can control the translation, the scale and the skew of uh, particular objects or shapes on the screen. So it's going to come in really useful later. But I'm just going to show you a quick, um, a quick thing it can do. Um, each one of these arguments refers to a different um, property. So the first one is for scale and that's going to be the first one I'm going to show essentially 100100 is a is a new matrix it's basically a default matrix so that's how it um, that's how it should uh, be as default so if I change this value to 2 it increases the size um, the scale of the shape um, this can be used in many different ways when it comes to creating games um, and I will go into much more detail about it later it's just I wanted to quickly touch on it now uh, to give you a little taster of um, what you can do um, that's it for this tutorial um, and in the next tutorial we're going to start animating so it's going to be a lot more exciting so I will see you in the next one